Good day everyone and welcome back to our virtual classroom. For our Maths Easy episode for today, we will be learning area of triangles. So let's get started. Our topic for today is about areas of triangles. Now we have here the word area. So remember that area is the amount of square units contained within a plane or a two-dimensional figure. Now the word triangle from the word tri means three. It means that it is a three-sided polygon. Have you ever noticed that in a rectangle, it can be divided into two congruent triangle. We have here triangle one and triangle two if you cut it diagonally. Doing this decomposes the rectangle into two triangles. To decompose something, it means we have to break it down. So you can use the composition in math to separate a shape into smaller shapes. This makes for easy calculations when the shape is unusual. This will come in handy when you create something out of an irregular polygon or you wanted to solve for the area or any of which for an irregular polygon or a compounded shape. Now since our triangles are coming from or decomposed from a rectangle, hence we know that when we start with a rectangle and we decompose the rectangle into two triangles, so since the rectangle area formula is base, which is this side, let's say that's the base, and the height, which is this side, or that's length times width, this will be your length, and this is, this is your width. And since triangles is half of your rectangle, hence the formula of your triangle is one half of your base times height. Your base, of course, can be your length or your width, and your height will be the vertical length or the vertical width. Now, let's say, for example, we have this triangle where we will solve this as these are units, one unit per box or per line. So here, the height is one, two, three, four, five units, and the base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units. So hence, when we solve for the area of this triangle, that's one half base times height, that's one half, the base is ten units, and the height is five units, so that's one half of 10 times five, which is 50 units squared. So anything that you multiply twice becomes a square and half of 50 will be 25 units squared. Hence, the area of this triangle is 25 units squared. Let's take another example. We have here a triangle with the unit, the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, and the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. By the way, the height of a triangle always forms 90 degrees with your base. You have to take that into consideration when you solve for your triangles. It's always the 90 degrees, the vertical and the horizontal of your triangle, the height and the base. So for this case, this will be one half. Base is seven units, sorry. Let me just delete that. And the height is four units. So we have one half, seven times four is 28 units squared. And half of 28 will be 14 units squared or square units. Hence the area, all the sides 
uh, sorry, all the the squares inside should total to 14. So if we will actually count this, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's it, and then you have 14. So actually there are four unit squares inside. All right. Now let's take this as another example. Now when we solve something wherein we have to compose or decompose, that means that we have to solve one side only, and since the other side of the rectangle is congruent, then we can just multiply it by two. So here we have Mr. Smith's lawn is shaped like a triangle with a base of 25 feet and a height of 10 feet. What is the area of Mr. Smith's lawn? So then, we have to first write down the formula for the area of a triangle, which is 1 half base times height, and then all we need to do is substitute. The base here is 25 feet. The height is 10 feet. So 25 times 10 is 250 feet squared, or square feet. And then 250, half of that will be 125 square feet or feet squared. So this is the area of Mr. Smith's lot. Now what we have learned, just to recap everything, before we end our video, we have learned that the area of your triangle, when we talk about area, that's the amount of space or square units contained in a plane or a 2D shape, and you can actually decompose or compose. When we say decompose, meaning we separate the shapes into smaller shapes, and compose means we put to together the shapes to create a new or larger shape. Now, just to summarize, the area formula is 1 half base times height. And the area of a rectangle, the area of your rectangle, rectangle will be length times width or base times height, while the area of your triangle will be one half base times height. I hope that you have learned something from our lesson for today about area of triangles. Thank you and see you next time. I hope that you have learned something new today and if you're new to my class, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Mads Easy series. Bye!